Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. We're doing our part with the masks. I know it looks kind of crazy, um, <laughs> hey. but we got to make sure, especially here in South Carolina, where we are spiking. So if you are out there, please be safe when yep. you're out in public or when you're not out in public. That's right. And today is episode 56 of We Want to See Your Helmets. So if you want to be on this show, email the pictures of your best helmets you got to picks at greengridiron.com. And if you show us something awesome, we're going to keep giving away some face masks, I think. I think so, yeah. We're going to, I, I like to call them face coverings. Steve, You're right. Face because covers. we've got face masks on all these helmets. <laughs> I don't want people to get confused. So we're going to give away a face covering. If we love your, if either one of us, deems your helmet so exceptional that we give it a pick. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So we got 10 to go through. Are you ready? I'm ready. I've never seen these. I'm going to be giving these all a score from 1 to 10. Mm -hmm. And Steve is going to basically be critiquing the photo, what do you, what do you call it? Steve? The photo quality, the composition, all that. And then I'll give you some tips and maybe to get you some better photos. First up is Nathan, and he wrote in and said, Hey guys, my name's Nathan. I have enclosed some pics of my autographed Patrick Mahomes Ooh. Super Bowl helmet. Yeah. yeah looking forward to this one. He did some upgrades to it. Um, he says, I was wondering if I should use a different color visor or anything else. Hope you guys enjoy. So, here we go. Oh, yeah. So, this is nice. So, this is a Riddell Speed collectible that are, they do these every year for the winners of the Super Bowl and winners of the NCAA uh, CFP championship. Uh, the, this one looks great. We can see all of the little upgrades on here, 3D bumpers. Uh, we've got decals on the back. I don't know off the top of my head if this helmet comes with all of those. This one, you can see the little Fanatics uh, sticker on there as mm -hmm. well. So I'm not sure which ones of these stickers came with the helmet versus which ones were kind of put on there after the fact. Um, I'm guessing that the NFL radio decal, which is what the, the quarterbacks have on the back of their helmets. I'm guessing that was an aftermarket piece. Yeah. Uh, certainly the bumpers are aftermarket. The KC on the Under Armour clips, those are aftermarket. Uh, looks like this is the face mask that comes with the helmet. We got a nice red visor in there. Probably got that from us because I don't think you can get them anywhere else. Well, that's uh, right. Overall, this thing looks great. He even uh, cut the chin straps into nice little arrows yeah, and tops. Yeah. Re really, really nice job. Pick worthy, Steve. I'm going to say I'm going to say no. Yeah, I agree. But I'm going to give it a nine point two. Oh damn! It, it, okay. it, it's, it's getting a really high score because this is a, a pretty unique thing. You got his autograph on there. Mm -hmm. I I would go ahead and say it's a one of a kind. Yeah, it's a really good job, Nathan. Nice job setting it up with the Chiefs swag in the back. I like it. How long? Here, leave your comments below. We don't want to get political. Hmm. How long? What's the over under on when the Chiefs are going to change their name? Oh, within two years. <laughs> two years? I'm yeah. thinking more like, it might be before the season starts. You think this season? I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, let's you know, discuss amongst yourselves. Next up is Lewis. And I know for a fact that we helped put this thing together okay. back in the day. And uh, it's cool to see it completed. And this, that bridge, and this is in Boston. Mm -hmm. that's, I don't know the name of this bridge. It's not, that's the iconic bridge in Boston. This thing is amazing this is already i'm just gonna hurry up and say he's getting he's yeah. getting a pick okay. yeah <laughs> takes all the pressure off of me so. yeah. yeah excellent we got uh chrome decals those are aftermarket for sure this whole helmet is aftermarket but uh we got the chromed out big grill uh that is the s2bdc ht uh this thing this thing is great i love it with the graffiti and I know, I agree. And he has it pointing the graffiti, even the unfinished building in the background. It all just, he did like a filter on it to make it look even more grungy. Yeah. What, what do you call that, Steve, when you have something that's really nice and I would, dare I say, high end? Yes. And you put it amongst the filth of the city. Just like a juxtaposition. Because yeah. we, we all know how filthy Boston is. <laughs> you just have to... Keep... Right. It's just a, <laughs> it's just filthy. It's just filthy. The bridge is a beautiful piece of filth. Yeah. So anyway, you get a pick for me. You're gonna get one yeah. of these little face covers. So and because you got a pick, you, you that's obviously that's a perfect score. So you don't 
I don't need to grade it. Enough yeah. said. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Really great job. Nathan, so, <laughs> thanks so much for uh, sending that, those photos in and going out on set or on location yeah. to get those. Proper photos. This yeah. is DJF. And he wrote in a little thing saying that he used to make a living out of doing this. These are, you know, era correct. He said he stopped, that he's getting old, they're getting expensive, whatever it might be. But I'm really, really liking his collection. Well, if he said that he was making a living uh, doing this stuff, uh, props to him for that because it is not nearly as easy as a lot of people think. And we talk to a lot of people who are trying to get into helmets. And it's one of those things where, Steve, when you're selling helmets, mm -hmm. first off, if you're making them, you're doing it illegally because right. you don't have licensing and so forth. Steve, I don't know much about the old school helmets like this. We're dealing, you know, when we started Green Gridiron back about 10 years ago, we've only been dealing with newer ones. From what I can see though, these look great. Yeah, they really, really look awesome. I kind of like the old school look in this because mm -hmm. everything around it is also old school. Yeah. So I, I kind of feel like I'm back in the late 70s and early 80s, so. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of people, uh, who start off with this, you know, they get one, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, they got 10, next thing you know, they got 100, and somewhere between 10 and 100 is when they start selling them, <laughs> yeah. and then it turns into a thing. Um, but there's, this is, uh, obviously we get a lot more collecting going on than just the helmets here, so this is just part of a collection. Even the turf on the shelves, the green yeah, of the wall, cool. is just, you could tell that this guy is passionate about this and I can feel it, I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grade these as a collection, Steve. I'm gonna give this collection a 9.0. Nice, It's yes. getting hurt that they're the old school helmets and I'm a new helmet guy. Yeah. I like and that's new stuff. And that's okay. It's your show. You do what you want. Yeah. yeah. But I think they're right. <laughs> and, and something tells me that they all are spot on to yeah. how they should be. Good work. Next up, T Van. Uh, and Hi, he T says, What's up? I had a friend who's a Harley Davidson fan, so I made him this cool help it. I hope you agree. Let me know your thoughts. I know I don't have a visor, but I still think it deserves a good score. Thanks, I, I think, T Bone. I think it's T Bone, not T Van. Maybe? Well, no, T. No, it. That's how he came over. Okay. It's how he signed it. Okay. Yeah. So I'll tell you this much: he did a really, really nice job of making this. So here's what we got: we've got hydro graphics. Uh, what's this? Uh, diamond plating. Yep. Uh, look to it, which is really cool. Uh, looks like it's a Harley Davidson decal on top of the mm -hmm. hydro graphics, uh, which I think that goes well. I like kind of seeing it behind so obviously there's some some clear in that decal yep uh overall steve i think this is really cool looks great it's really cool and you know what's cool did you notice he did like two different bumpers mm -hmm. one says hd one says harley davidson personally i like the hd better. are they the same helmet or are they different helmets too i it, it looks like the same helmet but he swapped face mask and bumper i maybe yeah. they're different yeah i don't e know either way uh i love that you know there's a lot of chrome on Harleys. Chrome makes sense, even though the chrome doesn't really go with right. the colors in it. And because you ride, this would just be perfect for you to ride with. Yeah, it so would be. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hook Whoa, you up with one. another one. And Steve, you, had, you haven't had a Harley, but you had a- No, I did. I had a Softail Night Train. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I stand correct. Yeah, it was an 06. It was the first year with the big, fat 200 millimeter back tire. Everybody was jealous. Is that the one that- uh, Schwarzenegger nice. War and ter Road and Terminator? Uh, no, that was a fat boy. Oh, yeah. fat boy. Just to show you what I know. I, I, <laughs> Still I, a soft tail. I though. have other motorcycles. <laughs> that, that's right. I'm not a Harley guy. Yeah. Not that, that I have anything against Harley. No, but. you're yeah, you know, you're just not. I don't, like, I don't like chrome. No, well then no. it's not, not for you. And I have a I have a truck with more chrome some, on it than some chrome. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. My next vehicle is no chrome. All right. Uh, next up is Spencer. Custom face mask. Uh, green gridiron front 3D bumper looks great. We got a relatively unique color. I mean, you don't see this color gray. It's like battleship gray. Yeah, I yeah. think that that's cool. We've got the safe clips mm -hmm. on there. Those look nice. We've got a, an you know, unbranded um, visor clips, or actually those are branded with it looks like a decal over it. Yep. You can tell because there's a little bit of white on there. You know, we, we spot that stuff. Uh, an Elite Tech visor looks like in a mirror, possibly a clear mirror i can't tell and then is that a redemption strap yep. 
hanging out back in there. Yeah. Um, so a re relatively blacked out look. I like the white shadow effect uh, behind the 3D bumper. We got, looks like we got a 3D bumper on the back as well. Yeah. Can't tell what it says. Maybe that's, uh, maybe it's the green grid iron one. And then we've got the Sports Star Speed Flex adapters. Got a lot going on here. A this lot. Is, you know, at first glance, looks like a helmet. <laughs> and then, and then, then it looks like looking. a helmet. Right. And then once you start looking, you start to see all these little things. So, kudos, props. What are we missing on this helmet? We're we're missing decals. Mm -hmm. Um, that's about it. Is it? Yeah. It sums it up. It yeah. looks good. It looks really good. It's Raiders esque. Yeah, I'm going another high score, Steve. I'm going to go with a 8.5 because every single one of those little pieces that I rattled off, points, points, points. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Spencer. Next up is Nick. And he says, this is my newly finished Oklahoma Sooners replica helmet to VSR4 EGOP face mask from Green Gridiron, a couple of other things. So thanks so much. And he included before and afters. boy. So Steve, this is an EGOP2 face mask, which is a little bit different than the EGOP. I know some of you heard that and we're getting a little, you know, yeah. It, hot and bothered it's all right <laughs> yeah so uh this thing looks fantastic love seeing the before and afters and really nice job this is a you know the the, the vsr4 helmet again that's an older mm -hmm. style this is a classic you know silhouette to this helmet uh it's unmistakable for sure you got the adam's chin strap i like where the the buckle placement is on this guy, the mask looks great. It's a shut face mask, obviously, on a Riddell helmet. Uh, I think we need a visor, Steve. Mm, yeah. Think? Five, yeah. Five. I think just a random colored visor, too. You yeah, know? I could see a green or a blue. Or yeah. Something like that would look pretty cool. Yeah. You know, for this particular style of face mask, the Super Pros or the Z bars, if it's a Riddell version. I go with the Shock 1.0 visors. Yep, fit, fits right in there. Fit, curvature's real good, fit nice. Obviously, you can throw on some uh, unbranded visor clips or branded visor clips either way. The, uh, th what makes this helmet to me is the all the decals on the back. 8.6. Nice, nice. For an older helmet, that's fantastic. It's pretty good. Thanks, Nick. Next up is Jackson. I really like these pictures, just getting that added away. Right, Jackson. He said, this is my cousin's old high school helmet from a few years ago. He's let me borrow it to practice with. Uh, we go to the same high school he went to, and sadly, the school changed their design, so this is probably the last one of its kind. Okay. Oh, yeah, this looks nice. I like the, the red and the black. Love the red and the black, and what I really like is he knows how to use, there's a setting, at least on an iPhone, it's called stage light, mm -hmm. where it looks like it's just on the spotlight and it blackens everything ah. else. This is the proper way to use it. Good work. I didn't know. Yeah. Good mm -hmm. job. Uh, and I like the reflection too. Yes. In the, in the wood table. I think you said, Ray, this is a shadow, right? It's a Zenith helmet. Uh, I believe this would be the Zenith Epic. Oh, uh, right, Possibly right. an Epic Plus. Can't really tell. It's awesome, man. Yeah, I think this is a good one. Um, I'm going to go with another high score on this one. I, I really like the chin strap, the black and red chin strap with the black X. And, you know, everything that Zenith does, they... they Yep. They, they, they go with an X in their design somewhere. They own it. Which I think is cool. Uh, Steve, I'm going to go with an 8.2. I like that. And this picture will go on the title oh, yeah? thumbnail, no doubt. You sure about that? Oh, I'm positive. Okay. <laughs> nice work, Jackson. Next up is Anthony G with one picture. But he says, here's my custom helmet. It had some specific instructions, and it just got blown out of the water. Oh, and, oh. and it really did. So he said, this is for my dad that passed of a heart attack. And he wanted a uh, Raiders helmet because that was his favorite team. And his dad and him loved Tim Brown, who he had to sign it. And his dad would say, Tim Brown, first down. So that's how he had it signed. And nice. it's, a, it's a mini helmet. Eventually, he's going to do a full the same way. Well, very sorry to hear about your dad passing, but this looks fantastic. And I think this is something that, you know, we're sitting on the shelf. All of this stuff is great. I mean, this is a lot of work for any helmet. But the fact that this is all crammed onto a mini, yeah, that's 
It's outstanding. Yeah, that visor it. is like that big. You know, it's it's pretty uncommon, Steve, but I'm going to give a mini helmet a peck. Ah, that's cool. It's done. It's first it's, done. It's the first time I think. That is the very first. We've done it. Yeah. And uh, everything about this looks super cool. The red just works. It just killed it. I love it. And even like the, he's got all the writing in here and the memory of his dad. Yeah. Awesome. This is uh, how you take something and step it up like nine levels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I have no idea what goes into doing a custom mini helmet like this because that's not what we do, but I imagine it's basically it's, what we do only smaller. It's got to be a pain in the ass, <laughs> right? It's got to be harder because it's, it's got to be harder. All the stuff that we use is, you know, there's teams all over the place buying it. Mini yep. helmets is kind of a different thing. Nice. Yeah, so nice job there, Anthony. Good work. Next up is Jordan. He says, because I'm an offensive lineman and center, I don't have any action shots. I know. It's true. Uh, he said, but it's the only helmet I've ever worn that wasn't a Riddell, and this shut air was the most comfortable helmet yeah. I've ever owned. That's an interesting thing to hear. And this looks like a true lineman's helmet. <laughs> yeah, a lot of beating up going on here. Looks potentially like the um, the clips, the face mask clips could be on backwards, but... Because I, I, I think this is a super pro face mask on a DNA helmet, and the face masks don't fit unless you put the clips on like this. Ah. So this is, but again, this is a little bit older of a helmet, so it's hard to hard to say. But certainly, this face mask started off its life as a Green Bay Gold, and then was painted what looks like black. The yellow, which I don't blame him because the yellow doesn't really match the yellow in the decal. Right. Um, it's a it's an old helmet. It's oh, yeah. Been, that's been well worn. It's an oldie. Interesting. Anyway, yeah. older helmet, beat up face mask, torn to hell. I'm going to be grading this, obviously, as a retired, worn, loved helmet. Yeah. Lineman love, man. I guess we can give those linemen a little bit of love. See, <laughs> I'm going to go with a 7.0. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure where you were going with that. A little bit of love, yeah. I said. But Jordan, <laughs> thank you so much for sending it in. <laughs> Be happy with that. Uh, <laughs> next up, and already last of the day, is Titus. And this is super cool. So this is a tribute helmet I built to honor my dad for all the life lessons of grit, positivity, self-competition, and performance for an audience of one. Now, now two. Now for, two, three. And three. Yes. And for the world. Yeah. Uh, these are the staples he passed to me uh, at Pacific Lutheran University football program. He wore 44. And check this out. Um, he was on the 1980 national championship team. Yeah. And look at this. This is cool. Boop. Oh, nice. That's for, I guess, a photo that's 40 years old. Yeah. It's a nice shot. It is a nice shot. I mean, how cool is that? That picture. See, you might not notice, but that's film. Uh, yes, <laughs> that is film. <laughs> there are a lot of people out there like, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. No digital photos back then. So that's awesome. And then this. Oh yeah, that is nice. I'm in love with this helmet. Yeah, I want to know where he got those clips. <laughs> Because we used to have uh, white clips with the black Under Armour on them probably about three years ago. Mm. We haven't had them forever, and then we just got in a whole stash of them. Uh, and once we're sold out, we're not going to be getting any more. Well, he or, did get... Pro probably ever, but some of this, but we just got them in like a week ago. I was going to say, he did get some stuff from us. I mean, maybe he took it and immediately sent in the photo. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Or maybe he got them from somewhere else. Who knows? Yeah. And that's, this has got to be painted stripes, right? Either oh. that or he perfectly worked the, uh, the little valve cap screws I, I, no, in these, there. No, these are decals, yeah. Uh, yeah. To me, I mean, this has got to get a pick. Absolutely. It looks great. This is so good. And I got to say, Steve, that up against the wall, which we just told somebody it, else, this it, looks fine. It works. Yep. Uh, but you got the white decals on. The Under Armour visor, which goes with that, uh, the custom front bumper, uh, the, the I mean the, the the decal set looks great. You know, getting the the round holes in the decals to fit the valve cap screws on there, that's great. You got a matching warning label. You got the 1980 the, on there that looks like a transfer decal. That's got to be custom. It looks like that's an embossed type flag on there, right? It is, yeah. Uh, you got his number on there. I, I love it. I, I wouldn't do anything any different. You got the SF2EG2 face mask. So this one's definitely going to pick. 
This yeah. is awesome. Really, really beautiful. beautiful. Beautiful job. Yep. Yeah. So thank you for that, Titus. And that's all that we have time for. So if you didn't make it on this show, don't worry. We still have dozens to get to, but we want to see more. So email your picks to picks at greengridiron.com dot com and maybe you'll get on the show yes and make one of the, your picks a heisman shot let's see what you got mm -hmm. uh, like subscribe click the notification bell for more videos like this really appreciate it for until next time cheers cheers